how is it possible that what you do in a video game becomes real? Well, welcome to the crowdfunding campaign of the Afraid Project. I'm Fran, the developer behind an Epic and Ghost 1.0. And I'm here to explain to you what the Afraid Project is. But first, please, let me introduce you to Jesse Fox, one of the main characters of this story. I'm finished. Damn it! Are you Jesse Fox? Yes. Who the hell are you? I'm a messenger. Listen carefully. My boss is looking for a tough guy who can provide transport for his distribution. Tough as nails and used to extreme conditions. They say you're the best around here. If I were it, I wouldn't be here, would I? I'll cut straight to the point, kid. I came to make you an offer. We get the judge to free you, and you work for us for a year. You're wasting your time. Judge Stevenson is incorruptible. I know him. Don't underestimate our organization, kid. Look, you get me out of this hole, and I will distribute whatever you want. Obviously, Jesse will end up distributing for an organization called name of Freight. And here it comes. If you manage to make a distribution in the game, I will pay some guys so they do the same you did, but for real, here in the real world. In this way, what you do in the game becomes real. But who am I going to pay? What substances are going to be distributed? Well, in order to make his distribution, Jesse will fly to a very special place. And we'll be right there where we'll find all the answers. Welcome home, Sam. Hey, you look good. Everything okay here? Well, you know, short on material as usual. But we get through. By the way, this is Jesse, the new driver I told you about. Nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. Hold on. The girl is in? What's up? Is there any problem? Well, the way you're dressing, <laughs> it looks like you're from one of those nonprofits that go around saving little black children. That's because we are non-profit. <laughs> so funny. Because she is joking, right? I'll explain everything to you on our way. Now we have stuff to unload. Unload? But what the hell are we going to distribute here? Jesse will soon discover that they're going to distribute antibiotics, bandages, vaccines, food, school material, mosquito nets, clothes, solar panels. So, here you are. The Afraid Project is a simulator of non-profits that work here, in Africa. So, the more you advance in the game, the more money you've paid for it is going to be donated to those non-profits that do the same you did in the game. But here, in the real world, when you spend $10 buying a Afraid Project, one half will be allocated for stream distribution and government fees. But that other remaining half will be put aside. Then, when you succeed at the first mission of the game, Mission accomplished! A part will be donated to a non-profit that does the same action. Same with the second mission. Mission accomplished! And so on with all missions. Until you finish the last one. Mission accomplished! And the remaining part will be finally donated. For instance, if you manage to build a school in the game, then you will help to build a real one. Or, if you manage to successfully clear a level about vaccinating children, a child is going to be vaccinated thanks to you. In other words, what you do in the game becomes real. But, where does the code name Afraid come from? Well, it's nothing else but a contraction of the real name of the game. African Aid. What will African Aid be like? The idea is to have two modes in the same game. If you select Sarah, you'll play a simulation strategy mode where you control your team, vehicles, and resources in order to accomplish the goals of each mission. You tell everyone what to do by using your mouse, like loading food, driving all around the map, healing people, buying stuff, and raising or restoring buildings. 
If you select Jesse, you'll play a driving mode where you have to reach the goal, for instance, before the vaccines get spoiled. Roads are not going to be exactly highways, so it's not going to be the typical game of driving at maximum speed constantly. Instead, you'll have to manage all sorts of obstacles on natural terrain, if there even is a path. Last but not least, it's important to know that all money raised in this crowdfunding campaign will be used exclusively to create the game. Donations are not included here. To find out more, please have a look at the backers and donations section. So, that's all. I hope you liked the idea. And I hope that this crowdfunding campaign works so I can offer the world a cool game based on real actions, full of stories and anecdotes and and a game that makes the world a better place. Thank you.